the management at Yes Bank is talking about their results. Uh, we can see Dr. Rana Kapoor over there. Let's uh, listen in what they are talking. Quarter 2016-17 results. I'm very pleased to share with you that uh, we've had a very satisfactory quarter, uh, practically on all fronts. First and foremost, on PNL outcomes, as you can see, the overall PAT of the bank has increased by 32.8% uh, at a level of around 731.8 crores. This is about by far one of the best quarters in the last three to four years. Our total income uh, for this quarter went up by 38.1% to a level of 2000. 217 crores. The net interest of income of the bank uh, was at a level of 1,316 crores, reflecting an overall uh, growth, corresponding growth of 24.2% on the back of uh, increases in our advances, which have been fairly robust, as well as you know the accretion to CASA, uh, which I will comment on. The overall net interest margin improved marginally compared to last year from 3.3% to 3.4% uh, a year ago. The ROA overall stood at 1.7% uh, and ROE has once again got back to crossing 20% levels and stood at 20.7% ROE which I have reason to believe is one of the best in the banking industry in the country today. The book value of the bank increased to 345 rupees 20 pesa as of uh, June 30th, 2016. On some of the key balance sheet parameters, uh, first and foremost, CASA, which improved year on year by 63%. And overall, our CASA as a bank in totality stands at 29.6% compared to 23.4% one year ago, reflecting an increase of 6.2% in one year. And if you look at it correspondingly, uh, it's, uh, as I mentioned to you, it's very significant at a level of 63%, but sequentially it's gone up from 28.1% to 29.6%, so literally in three months, our CASA ratio has improved by one and a half percent, which is about the best uh, we have ever had in the life cycle of Yes Bank, and this is the 47th quarter of commercial performance that we are reporting to, 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 to you. Within the, within the CASA and the retail deposit construct of the bank, the overall ratio has improved uh, to 55.3% uh, compared to a level of around 52% uh, only about a year ago. The loan growth in this quarter stands at approximately 33% and our total advances book now stands at 1,5,942 crores as of June end 2016. Uh, capital adequacy overall is at a fairly satisfactory level of 15.5%. Uh, and within that, the core tier one ratio stands at 10.3%, factoring in the profit for the June quarter and adjusted for a dividend payout. Uh, so what you see is uh, adjusted for dividend as well. Total capital funds of the, of the bank now stand at over 22,394 crores and the core uh, net worth of the bank, core tier one capital, is at 14,825 crores. Some of you will recall uh, that we started the bank approximately 12 years ago, uh, and this is like one, we are one quarter short of completing 12 years. We started with 217 crores. So this number from 217 has improved to 14,825 crores in approximately 12 years. The deposit growth of the bank was uh, also fairly robust at a level of 28.6% uh, and total assets of the bank have grown uh, to 1,77,228 crores reflecting a corresponding increase of 27.5% compared to June 
2015. Let me now move on to what is the hot subject, asset quality. Uh, I'm very pleased to share with you uh, some of our outcomes. Uh, you will recall, you know, I see a number of familiar faces from the last quarter as well, that we had given, the management had given a credit cost guidance of 50 to 70 basis points for the full year 1670. The credit cost for this quarter stands at 15 basis points, uh, so well within the management guidance uh, at the upper end of 70 and at the lower end of 50 basis points. The structured uh, overall standard structured advances of the bank have dropped to 0.49%. Uh, the absolute quantum of that is 522.9 crores, which used to be 0.71% one year ago. So there's an improvement in the structured advances from 0.71% to 0.49%, and we are seeing a fairly healthy improvement in this uh, portfolio. I'm happy to share with you that there has been additional restructuring in this particular quarter. Uh, security receipts, uh, as you know, uh, the bank has had a very, very modest level of SR, and mostly we have refrained from, uh, from uh, selling down loans because the bank's policy largely is to resolve problems in-house. Uh, but I'm happy to share with you that our security receipts overall stand at 0.19%. In absolute terms, only 9.4 uh, crores. And this is also spread over, f over 10, uh, you know, 10 uh, borrowers. And this number has also improved quite significantly over the last one year. Uh, in terms of standard SDR advances, we have a small item, which is uh, all of 0.03%, and the absolute amount of that is 34.3 crores. Uh, 